Hi everyone, we are going to discuss today the solution of the exercises 5 to 8. This is the chapter 20, Income Inequality and Poverty. This is a book of Gregory Mankiw, Principles of Economics. So the fifth question says, this chapter uses the analogy of a leaky bucket to explain one constraint on the redistribution of income. So the third question says, what elements of the U.S. system for redistributing income create the leaks in the bucket? Be specific. So before going to that, that I chose the part of the taxes to the, the, to the rent, remember that the leaky bucket is when you have like two individuals or two groups, but they are in different condition. One of them so this group, um, this group like has a great or a good quantity of money, and the other part don't. So, so then the part that is trying to make the government is to find a way to redistribute those resources from one place to another. But unfortunately, the ways or the mechanisms that the government uses um, don't allow to take completely those resources entirely to the other place. Therefore, there is a leaky bucket. So, if we can consider that this leaky, you know, leaky bucket, so this hole is higher, it in immediately it means that the it should be like more intervention and then a uh, higher less of, of efficiency so then one could be the taxes to the rent so then the higher uh, or the highest rents in the country they should pay additional quantity obviously this should be a leaky bucket because maybe some individuals they will start to realize that it is not a good deal to produce more money because if they go to another part they need to pay more so then this should be a case another one uh, or other part is like when you, you arrive to a certain salary then you don't have uh, some benefits the point here you are conscious that you can arrive to have better salaries because you know you can do it but unfortunately if you go to that place you're going to start to lose some benefits so then people say okay why I should work more if these uh, additional hours that I'm working they will not provide a higher salary instead they will start to take me out benefits so then this should be this should be two examples. Do you think that Republicans or Democrats generally believe that the bucket used for redistributing income is leaker? How does that belief affect their views about the amount of income redistribution that the government should undertake? So then this should be a graph of intervention and level of bucket. If we consider that this should be like the the problem the higher intervention naturally will make a higher level of not bucket but the, the, the you know the leak leak uh, bucket so then it should be that a case then the idea is like that's true that the government should inter inter make some intervention into the market but need to be really aware what uh, are or what they are affecting because the debt loss weight, if it's high, it is better to keep the market as it is. But if the loss debt weight is not really too much, is not really losing a lot of efficiency, then the government should intervene in order to make inequality less. Six. Suppose there are no there are two possible income distribution in a society of ten people. In the first distribution, nine people have incomes of thirty thousand and one person an income of ten thousand. Then it should be the case. 
right? Uh, in the second distribution, all 10 people have incomes of 22,000, 25,000, sorry. A, if the society had the first income distribution, what would be the utilitarian argument for the distributed income? So remember, the utility, even if it's, some, if it's something superficial, in this case can be measured with the dollars. So you know that a person that has $30,000, if you take $1 from that person, or if you take $1 from the person that has $10,000, what should be worse? This one or this one? Definitely this one, because the diminishing or the marginal um, the marginal utility for one dollar is higher than this one so then the utilitarian argument is like the the like the harm that I'm taking from those people or I'm making for those people this should be better because it actually compensates the dollar that this person will receive so then this should be the part this would be the part of the term of diminishing marginal utility. Then, which income distribution would roles consider more equitable? Explain. So remember, uh, at that time, roles what he wanted is to improve the situation of the worst. So then, definitely, second distribution provides a uh, an improvement to the old people even if compared with the other one here we have people that they have less than the first distribution which income distribution would Nozick consider more equitable explain so then uh, the idea is like the one with any without any intervention of the government government don't um, or shouldn't be in the market so then any of the two where the government has no present there. Seventh, the poverty rate would be substantially lower if the market value of in-kind transfers were added to family income. The largest in-kind transfer in Medicaid, the government health programs for the poor, Let's say the program costs 10000 per recipient family. A. If the government gave each recipient family a 10000 check instead of enrolling them in the Medicaid program, do you think that most of these people or these families would spend that money to purchase health insurance? Why? Recall the poverty level for a family is about 23000 so then, remember, this in-kind transfer is like government provides, for example, clothes, for food, or uh, check, check to, to buy something, or to the supermarket, something more in terms of goods. The point is that when they start to receive cash of 10000 unfortunately, we should mention something like drugs and alcohol. Why? Because by statistics, we know that people that they they are more into drugs and alcohol, they are as correlated with the fact that they have low incomes. So then it should be, or likely, maybe they should unfortunately use that money for this stuff. Or if the situation is not that bad, we could say that they will start of buy food, clothes, or devices, or computers, uh, t smart TVs, video games, whatever. Then it is actually less uh, likely that these people use that money for paying, obviously, an insurance health. Then it should be almost impossible. How does your answer to part A affect your view about whether we should determine the poverty rate by valuing income transfer at the price the government pays for them? Obviously, 
this uh, the poverty line should be considered with the money that should be transferred then more people will be above the poverty line because when we make money of these income transfers the total amount of money should be maybe higher than the poverty line how does your answer to poor a affects your view about whether we should provide assistance to the poor in the form of cash transfer or in can transfer explain obviously it could be in cash but just to be used in special places obviously we know that maybe if you we provide clothes to the people and maybe at that time they don't need they need more in medicines or they need more because of food of of vegetable fruits or something like that then they should buy that so then we are trying to make their utility higher so then this should be used just for this should be better a cash but make sure that they will spend that money in what they need it right so for example with the credit card something that they just be used uh in the supermarkets or in the pharmacies uh whatever so this should be the case eight consider two of the income security programs in the united states tnf and the eitc when a woman with children and very low income earns an extra dollar she receives less in tanf benefit what do you think is the effect of this feature of tanf on the labor supply of low income women explain so this temporary assistance for needy families obviously this should be a trade off one of the 10 principles of economics people face trade off is as simple as if they will take an extra dollar or, or more money but then this fact that they will receive or she will receive uh, one additional dollar this should be taken into account that the benefits that she will lose they will be less than this extra dollar otherwise should be better to stay at that because the marginal or the um, the marginal income at that time is lower than the marginal cost so then this should be a ponderation of this additional compared with the cost of taking that on the other side the EITC provides greater benefits as low income workers earn more income up to a point What do you think is the effect of this program on the labor supply of low income individuals explain So this is the earned income tax credit this is something that make benefits for the lower income people that they will take a can kind of a refund higher to compare with another person with a higher salary due to the income then obviously it should be exactly the same this should be not like women at that times just like the workers should be better workers because they make a trade off and they say what should be better again if this dollar that they are earning uh, additional is going to take a benefit that is higher than this dollar they will ponderate and this case they will not work more so then as the previous one the supply should be conditioned to that and should be lower and the last question what are the disadvantages of eliminating tnf and allocating the saving to the eitc the problem of these two programs is like if you take one which is the first about needy families and you allocate all those resources to eitc is like just one one part of the population will receive that benefit and the other one the tnf which is more about needy families because actually they sometimes even they don't earn money or they are they they don't have that time cash so then should be better for that then if you make all the other part or just the other ones will receive uh, the benefit and maybe if the changes is higher and the benefit should be higher then 
the marginal decision should be more difficult because one extra dollar you are maybe sacrificing more money and they maybe should be even higher uh, to have um, to, to to achieve like higher salaries because it doesn't worth so definitely this should be analyzed so that's all for this video uh, this will more like talking no like not at all numbers but anyway if you have any any doubt any comment I'm more than happy to to listen to them and that's all thank you and see you next video bye bye